And it's just a little bit back to uh, Pleasant Grove 3, uh, Blaine Thatcher with, uh, help me understand why the cost of providing services has increased so much in a 10 year period when inflation has been less than 20%. So we went in, went and did our own homework, and went out to, uh, you know, and researched it and looked, it's actually increased 25.20%. So just, just a number, straight number, that you can go out and look and research, do your own homework, you'll see that it's 25%, so another figure that is off. And so you'll see the trend here, <clears throat> that these numbers are always off, always conflicting with what the city actually has in the books. All right, that's it. One, the summary that PG3 has come up with is that these unsustainable trends have led to our increased utility rates and will lead to increased property taxes. Property taxes in the city have not increased in over 30 years. As well, it has not been presented on the ballot for 2015 nor discussed as a council for the next year. At this, at this point, we don't have any immediate plans to raise property taxes, so we're not sure where, where that's coming from. I'll let Lynn speak to the utility rates, and, but, but again, we're, we're not sure where, where their summary of that's coming from because the city council would never vote on raising property taxes at this time. Well, as you all know, we just finished up uh, not too many years ago, but we were building a secondary system. The secondary system, uh, when Dean and Scott came in, they found that we weren't collecting enough money, which is directly more, by the way, for secondary to even make the bond payments. So that's one. Your sewer, or uh, your TSSD has taken the rates up 52 percent, over 50 percent, over a couple of years to pay for their expansion and their all their work that they've been doing several million dollars, and that's a direct pass through for you guys. Uh, water, the flood line. Storm drainage down second south that we have needed in for years. We finally got that in. That's a raising your storm drain. Three, three, three million bucks. You've got, if you're going to grow, you've got to and provide these services. You're going to, rates are going to go up at least to keep up with inflation and there will be special cases where you've got to do inflation. So thank, thank you. So again, we've had both the Battle Creek and Grove Creek uh, runoff lines that, that came down into the canal. We've had the TSD improvements that the cost went into us for sewer and the, uh, secondary water. All these were left out. And, and in the debate, when we had it, we didn't have enough time to go over this with them. But again, that's where your costs are coming from. It's because of the growth. And so we're going to have a, a video next. It's, again, it's, uh, it's from a city council meeting. And so you'll have to help me from the date on the May 26th of this year. Uh, the city has a spending problem. We just want to touch base on that a little bit. According to PT3. I understand. But what have you done to budget? You know, in businesses, I mean, we, most businesses through the last several years hacked away their budget significantly. Our budget, our, you know, our business, we have, our payroll is, is 40% of what it was originally. What has the city done to, to, to lower their expenditures? The city has continued to provide the same level of services that the people of the city have requested in an increasing inflationary economy with decreasing purchasing power. And yet we're asked to supply the same kind of services with a decreasing dollar. Not true. That is true. So we feel this clip is important because as the mayor stated out, I was showing you the previous numbers, inflation, growth, all these numbers come together. When they're shown separately, it may not seem like a big impact. But when shown together, stating what the mayor has just said in a council meeting is that our purchasing power has decreased, but yet our quality of service and our level of service to the citizens has either stayed the same or increased. And so we're trying to do the best we can with what we have while increasing our revenues. And as, as you heard Blaine Thatcher um, call out from the audience, it's not true. And the mayor corrected him and said, yes, it is true. That's exactly the situation that we're in. I also want to point out um, just the comment about anybody that's a private business owner 
yeah, in 2008, it's easy to reduce your staff by 40% across the board. I mean, the market takes a crash, so it's easy. But the thing that you realize, people didn't stop calling 911 in 2008. If not, they actually started calling more and more. People were at home, people were out of jobs. And so our daily population in Pleasant Grove was probably higher, which increased our level of services, where in the business market, as Mr. West suggests, yeah, it tanked for anybody that was in the private sector. It was bad timing. But it still did not decrease the level of services that we were required to provide. And so the question is, what did the city do? We didn't really have an option. We had to maintain that level of service. 